nak? Awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita. Tanda sokongan. Terima kasih. Okay, example number 9. So, here we have 1000 kg sports car. Accelerates from rest to 20 meter per second in 5 seconds. Okay, so given that the mass and then U is 0 meter per second. V is 20 meter per second in 5 seconds. Okay, so we want to determine what is the average power delivered by the engine. Okay, so since we have the change of kinetic energy here, we can use the work energy theorem. Okay, you can see that formula for average power is equal to okay, delta W over delta T. Okay, so here we have the change of kinetic energy over delta T. Okay, where it's equal to K final minus K initial over time which is 5 seconds. Okay, so let's write again P average is equal to half mv squared minus half mu squared over time 5 seconds okay so u is equal to zero so this is all equal to zero therefore we can substitute the values right so equal to half m is 1000 v is equal to 20 meter per second divide 5 okay so jawapan akhir dia you akan dapat 40,000 Watt ataupun kita boleh tulis sebagai 4 times 10 power of 4 Watt ok so very easy question number 9 right ok so finish example number 9 ok example number 10 so here we have a car again move at a constant speed V up a road with an inclination of 1 in 10 ok so we can calculate the angle actually Alright, so here we can calculate the angle theta. Okay, so where the angle of the inclined plane should be sine theta equal to 1 over 10. Therefore, theta is equal to, uh, cuba kira lah, berapa dapat. Okay, so theta is equal to 5.739. Okay, so kita ambil 5.74. Okay, so now uh, all resistance against the motion of the car can be neglected if the engine car supplies a power. So given that the power of the engine car is equal to 12.5 kilowatt. Okay, so here we can draw the free body diagram on the car. So now we can draw the free body diagram on the car where W is straightly downward. Okay, so at the same time. We gonna have normal, okay, and this is the y component, and this is x component. So the direction of v is in this direction, okay. So we can consider that w x, okay. So w x and w y, uh, so w y downward. Okay, so if the engine car supplies a power of 12.5 kilowatt, calculate the speed V. Okay, so now we want to calculate what is the speed of V. So we know that equation of instantaneous power is equal to FV cos theta. Okay, so here we can uh, look at the F net. Okay, so since there is a F truss, Okay, maknanya daya tujah. So, saya, kita letak daya tujah FT. Okay, daya tujah, dia punya direction mesti same direction dengan V. Okay, so kalau kita lukis the free body diagram. Okay, so kita akan dapat macam inilah. Okay, so since the car has the engine, so there is the thrust force FT. At the same time, we're going to have WX against the motion. Okay, so kita nak ada daya tujah ke depan untuk melawan uh, force WX which is opposite direction. Boleh. Okay. So V dia akan bergerak ke sini. 
So kalau kita tulis the total fx which is equal to ma. So this is equal to 0. So kita boleh tulis ft minus wx equal to 0. Okay. So ft okay, which is the thrust force. Okay, in this case, force inilah yang menyebabkan objek itu boleh bergerak ke depan. Okay, so Ft is equal to mg sin theta. Okay, so saya akan masukkan dekat dalam nilai ini Ft. Okay, F adalah the thrust force which is mg sin theta. V kita nak cari. And the angle between V and F, okay, V ke sini. Tentunya kita ada F net kita ke sini lah. Iaitu F trust tadi daya tujah ke depan. So theta is equal to 0 degree. So cos 0. So this is equal to 1. Okay. And then we can substitute all the values. So we want to find V right. So power is 12.5 exponent 3. Mass is 1500. G is 8.91. Sin theta, okay, sin 5.74 degree V, okay. So, nak cari V, therefore V is equal to, ha, cuba tekan calculator. Okay, so the answer is equal to 8.5 meter per second. Okay, so kita dapatlah, so object, so kita dapatlah nilai uh, speed of the car, is 8.5 meter per second. Okay. So means that the power of the engine 12.5 kilowatt boleh menghasilkan satu daya tujah ke depan. Okay. So kita boleh kira lah equation dia. So daya tujah tu mesti sama dengan uh, Wx lah. Okay. Sebab dia nak against Wx which is the direction of Wx tadi bertentangan dengan motion dia. Kan. Uh, so kena perlu ada satu daya bersih iaitu Ft equal to mg sin theta yang dekat sini tadi ok so finish all examples so for the next video we will continue chapter 6 thank you for your support so see you in the next video assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera jumpa lagi bye bye